innocent girl falls prey to serial rapist. When a deluded man loses his wife, he goes into a crazed rage raping and killing all women who resemble her. Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I will show you a Hong Kong martial arts film produced in 1993 by Godfrey Ho. This film stars Cynthia Rothrock and Don Neum. Beware, the video contains spoilers. The film has a lot of violence so watch out. Sit back, relax and enjoy. The film starts in an underground setting. There is a ring used for wrestling and two men are preparing for a match. All around, People are placing bets and our protagonist Christy Jones is organizing her team and encouraging the player. From what we can gather so far, the secret location, and the people in the arena, it is clear that this is an illegal fight. It is revealed that the Mafia runs the street fight and the matches leave the loser severely wounded or dead, and the winner gets money as a reward. Christy runs a gang and they are great participants in the game. Christy has inspirations and big dreams and she hopes to go back to college someday. She participates in the fights as she needs to pay fees for her sister Karen Jones. The sister is studying at a local college. She hopes to be a doctor and pay for Christy's education. She is also quite friendly with her psychiatry too and she shares whatever she is going through with her. Christy feels bad for her gang members and wishes they could change their lives and live decently. However, the city she is in is full of gangs and most people make a living through illegal fights. The fight starts and Christy's gang wins. A police detective Nick DiMarco constantly pesters Christy. He thinks she should be doing more with her life than just beating up people for money. He constantly runs into her during the police raids at the fights. She ignores him each time saying he is an annoying person with all his nagging. Christy is a martial arts star and she also participates in the fights. She also trains her gang personally increasing their odds at winning. Meanwhile, there is another martial arts superstar called Stingray due to his mad skills. This man has always had abandonment issues ever since he was a kid. His family used to mistreat and abandon him at most events and this is the stem of his issues. He is married to Anna who lives in fear. He recently lost his job and this caused him to start his slow descent into madness. Stingray has bad moods and episodes and in such moments, he viciously rapes his wife. Scared Anna usually sees a therapist after these occurrences. The therapist keeps telling her that her marriage is toxic and she should divorce her husband. They are quite comfortable as Stingray brings home money from his fight winnings. One day, Anna finally gets the courage and leaves him after he rapes her. Enraged, Stingray swears he would find her. This event brings up his mental issues and the new trauma causes him to have a psychotic break from reality. As he has sworn to find his wife, he goes into a frenzy kidnapping any woman who resembles his ex-wife. He tortures them as an outlet for his pain for days. Finally, he gouges their eyes out. Such inhumane treatment is one no one can survive, so they subsequently die. He takes their dead bodies back to the crime scene but is never caught or apprehended. The police department is frustrated as they cannot seem to nail Stingray. One time, the serial killer sets his eyes on Christie's sister, who resembles his victims and ex-wife. He kidnaps her and kills her. When the news reaches Christy, she sees Red and wants revenge. With the help of Detective Nick, his partner Mike and her sister's psychiatry tutor Jennifer, they manage to track down Stingray. At this point, the detective has fallen for Christy. Stingray realizes he is being chased and kidnaps Jennifer. The three, Nick, Christy, and Mike manage to track him down in a warehouse. A fight ensues but Stingray manages to escape. However, he brandishes a gun and shoots at Mike who dies. The group is saddened by that but the event seems to fuel them more and now they are desperate to find Stingray. They save Jennifer who has minor injuries. Just to be sure, she is admitted to the hospital. Stingray, not one to leave his work undone, disguises himself as a doctor. He goes in Jennifer's room and kidnaps her again. Nick and Christy have come to visit Jennifer and they find her missing. They manage to see 
Stingray with her, and they chase him to a storage area. It is the ultimate battle between Christy and Nick against notorious martial arts star Stingray. They engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat as it is the fair ground for the three. Despite his greatest attempts, Stingray is defeated by the pair who led him to a meat cellar with hooks. The hooks gorge out his eyes in a taste of karma effect. The hooks also suspend him by the eye sockets eventually killing him. Our film ends as Christy and her friends gang visit her sister's final resting place. She tells her that she avenged her and other women's deaths by defeating and killing Stingray. She tells her that she can now rest in peace. It is revealed that she somehow managed to enroll her gang members in college with some money she had been saving up. The gang can go to college and have decent lives. Nick has enrolled Christy into college too as she also deserves a shot at something great. Our film ends as the group engages in an impassioned four-way high five. That concludes our video for the day. Let us know what you think of this classic film. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel for such amazing updates.